And not too much waffling to do here. We got a couple of episodes to record, so let's just jump into the big one. Lionel Messi, the face of the league, complaining because he was kept out of a game for two minutes for needing treatment on a tackle that wasn't cardworthy. Likewise, Luis Suarez was about to fight a referee over the fact that he hurt his team by not getting off the field fast enough. So let's dive into to some of the details and then we'll, we'll share our thoughts on it. Um, a few weekends ago, right after we recorded our news segments, this whole story dropped of Messi and Suarez becoming irate over new rules. Uh, so we weren't able to record it in real time, but let's dive into it now and, and kind of break it down now that we've got kind of a, a, a withdrawn view of it, right? I think a lot of people put their opinions out there and, and I think I even did. I went a little, you know, 10K impression tweet on, you know, making fun of it, but let's let's take a step back and, and look at it. Oh, was that me dropping our Twitter that you should go follow? You're damn right it was. So in the game, Lionel Messi was fouled by former Atlanta United flop George Campbell. Just seems that all they put out these days are flops at Atlanta United side. That was so unnecessary and uncalled for. I will, <laughs> no. I will be reaching out to George directly and sending him your address. You go right ahead because it's changing here in about two weeks. I'll send him the new one too. It's you all know the new one, you, so he could go. Oh wait, no, he's not there anymore. Never mind. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, anyways, Messi got fouled and then he went down injured. He stayed down requiring treatment, meaning that he was sent off the pitch for two minutes to be treated before being allowed to enter. Usually the only way that you can, that doesn't have to happen is if the foul resulted in a card. But because there was no card, he was told two minutes on the sideline, see in a little bit. In his anger, he turned to what I believe is the fourth official, but the camera was right there. And he goes, in Spanish, if we're implementing these rules, we are not doing well. Essentially saying that this is hurting the game instead of helping. The game. Later on in the game, Luis Suarez was substituted and did not leave the field in 10 seconds, meaning that his replacement had to wait an entire minute before entering the field. According to a tweet, he was reportedly held back from the fourth official by Tata Martino and other players because he was so unhappy with the decision. Right, wrong, change needed. Connor, give me your thoughts, buddy. I mean, I personally think the sport's heading in the wrong direction if we're just going to keep rewarding teams that fake injuries at the end of games and really like try to just let things linger on instead of actually playing the game. Like if you're a talented enough team, then you shouldn't need to lay on the floor and have cramps at the end of the game all of a sudden and take like a couple of minutes to walk off the field when you've been subbed off. Cause if you're strong enough defensively, then you'll be able to hold out for the extra couple of minutes that you're saving there. So I don't really see an issue with the rule. Um, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if at some point it gets implemented in other leagues around the world as well. I mean, considering that it wouldn't be the first time that MLS has implemented something first and then other leagues have started to adopt it. And I would imagine, you know, it's I've, I would think it's similar to a lot of other things that first get implemented. Like there's going to be some friction at the start, the same way that VAR had friction when it first was introduced in England. I mean, in fairness, it still has friction today, but. When that was first introduced, I feel like there was even more friction, especially from the fans. And it's just something you kind of got used to over time. So that's my hope for the rule is that people and players will kind of get used to it a bit more. And I don't necessarily see it as a bad thing for the game. I think it's good for the fans that are paying to watch a full game and not watch five minutes of people laying around on the field. Um, obviously, if there's serious injuries like that should take. Uh, as much time as needed to make sure that, you know, the players are okay and um, what needs to be done on the field is done, uh, regardless of how much time is being taken. But if it's just like, I mean, we've all seen it. Uh, we've all seen the games where players, teams up one goal, 87th minute rolls around, and all of a sudden everybody on the field has a cramp. Uh, you've seen videos of like teams where multiple guys all of a sudden have cramps at the exact same time and fall to the floor. Like, it, it's a part of the game. It's the same way flopping is a part of the game as well. Like, I don't have a problem with a rule that tries to mitigate that. On on the surface, right? The the whole rule is like if you're if you're down and you're truly injured, you're going to need at least two minutes to to get treated and and you know warm up and be cleared. So you're you're going to be missing it anyway. It doesn't matter, right? Or you get subbed and there's no no wait, right? And and that makes sense, right? We 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 see all the time people, like you just mentioned, rolling around, holding their knee when not, you know they get 
they get hit on the left ankle and they're holding their right knee. And it's like, oh, I need treatment and all this stuff. And we all know that time doesn't actually get added back on. Uh, so it's a way to, to implement that. Sure. However, there are ways that this can be improved. And, um, you know, this is a really good example of it. And, and th- it's very easy to improve and it, it, it gets improved with common sense. Because the rules, you know, people are like, oh, Messi said the rule is bad. They, they got to get rid of it because the face of the league is saying it's bad. No, it's not. The rules are here to stay. And I wouldn't be shocked if other leagues start to implement them because they are good for the game in principle. However, add in a little bit of common sense to what we're doing. Just like many calls that you make in this in, in, in the game, whether, whether it's this league, overseas, north, south, whatever. When Messi went down injured in this game... He was removed and told to wait for two minutes because they, you know, to prevent time wasting, right? That's the whole point of this rule. Miami was losing 2 0 at the time. I'm no mathematologist. I mean, I guess technically I am, but you don't try and time waste when you're losing a game, right? That doesn't make a lot of sense. That that doesn't, you know, two and two don't make four in that sense. There is a very easy way to clean this up, right? It's the first year of the rules, and like you mentioned, either you're going to get used to them or we can adapt them a little bit. Not get rid of them, but just tweaks, right? Little tweaks. Always look back and try and make things better. Give referee discretion here, right? You've got your mics. You've got the fourth official in the ear, right? You're getting information as the game goes on. Fourth official says, okay, that's a Miami player down. They're losing 2-0. Clearly, there's no time wasting that's happening here. He just has a little bit of a knock. If he comes off the field, that's fine. He's allowed to re-enter as soon as he's he's ready to go, right? Very simple. Very, very easy. I don't think that's a problem at all. I don't think that's a difficult thing to do either because of it's, you know, it, 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 numbers don't lie. If you are losing, time wasting is not, not what's going to happen, right? So very easy to just say, hey, that that change. I mean, we do that in uh, in the college game right now where if you are winning a game, and you make a sub after five minutes, clock stops to prevent time wasting and, and, and you know, strategic changes to kill the game off. That usually is a running clock. Um, so it's very easy to make those make those changes. Right now, I do want to kind of shift to the other one that not a lot of people talking about, probably because it, it's less controversial. But Luis Suarez, I think, is a different story. Like I mentioned, he got subbed off, didn't leave in 10 seconds. And then his replacement had to wait a minute before getting on the field. And then he loses his mind and and whatever. And I think it is the stupidest thing that he's done since being here. He got subbed in the 92nd minute of a game. He was winning by one goal and he walked off the field knowing that these were the rules. Of course, you're going to get the the punishment. Like this isn't like, oh, you got hurt and you're getting subbed off and, and whatever. You got subbed in the 92nd minute. You're winning a game by one. And we can either do two things here. We're going to hold him off for a minute. Or we're going to give you a yellow card and that are going to start to accumulate. And you're going to miss a game, you know, 90 minutes of a game long term. And he, now he gets upset because he didn't get off fast enough when all you have to do is go off of any side and start walking around. But because you chose not to and that happened, you had to be held back from a fourth official. Grow up, my guy. Yeah, I mean, that's that's not even I don't think an MLS specific rule. I mean, I think a lot of leagues around the world have that rule where it's just like once you're subbed off. You should go to like whatever the closest lot, like out of bounds area is um, and then just walk around. That way you're not all the way on the other side of the field wasting multiple minutes while you walk off and take your lap of glory before you come off. So, yeah, I I would agree with you there. I think that's pretty childish to uh, make such a big fuss over a rule that's been in place and is in place pretty commonly in a lot of other leagues as well. I mean, I'd be you, you'd be hard to find. I think it'd be difficult to find someone who's going to argue with that rule. Like, I don't think necessarily we need to watch a player walk off the field. I think there's more argument to make in the other rule that you were talking about, especially when you you reference the situational awareness of when someone's going down with an injury. But yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I mean, it's it's not it shouldn't be surprising that Suarez would pull something like that. Like it's in his history. He he's a troublemaker. He's a hothead, you know, who you likes to stir things up and sometimes cause issues. And so it's kind of just in his MO. It's, it's what you get with, uh, obviously the Uber amount of talent that he brings as well. Um, uh, 
So it, it's it's not overly surprising, but it sucks to see because it's just childish. Yeah, I, like I said, I was just kind of like th there's there's room for for improvement on some of them, and there always will be every time you put new rules. I mean, you see it in every league, every time that that you got right. VAR can be, it, it, you know, VAR can be determined in different or utilized in different ways. I should say. Right, whether it be offside is clear and obvious, or you're drawing lines to the millimeter, right? Like there are different ways that work, and 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 whatever it may be. But this one, I'm all for this one, and I think that the reaction wasn't warranted for the punishment. You know what I mean? Like I think it was just a over over explosion on something it didn't need to be. So you could adjust rules, or you could be the Premier League and just quit on them when it doesn't go your way. And it's funny because only the only people who are opposed to are the people who feel like they've been hard done by, right? Like wolves are like, we need to scrap the whole thing because we didn't get the benefit of of being eleventh instead of fourteenth this year. Ah, <laughs> stop it! I can't believe how much they fumbled the bag on VAR. Like that is a, a clown class in how to use VAR. It, it's fun, you know that meme that's like, oh, we're looking for the person who did this. It's like. Oh, VAR causes more controversy than it does, you know, help fix issues. Stop drawing millimeter lines and trying to figure out every every inch of what you're doing. You did it to yourself. Like this is your fault. You can fix it. Like it's not that hard. Yeah, and the, and you know the minute that they get rid of it, the first controversial call that comes into play, it they're going to be up in arms like, "Why did we get rid of VAR? Like it would have saved us here, you know." Like, yeah damned if you do damned if you don't right you're never gonna you're never gonna please everybody and you'll have the old school who's like yeah this is the way it should be this is proper football and this is how it you know no technology in our game and then you're gonna have the people who are like yeah but they were wrong and humans make mistake and we have the ability to fix it so maybe we should fix it if it means that we're not drawing lines anymore and it's just clear and obvious like a red card or a last man challenge or whatever fine if we don't want to do the lines anymore, let's not do the lines anymore. Like it's not a hard fix. It's not a difficult thing to do. Yeah. I don't think that gets passed anyways, but no, I'd be surprised. That would be so archaic of them to get rid of VAR in this day and age. Yeah, like Sweden, Sweden, I think, is the first one that doesn't have it. But this is the Premier League. Like, you know how much or money is riding on these? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know how much money is riding on this stuff? Like, yeah, you can't you can't afford to get this wrong. That'd be a big swing and a miss. It would look really bad, I feel like, on them. Yeah. Well, anyways, to come full circle on it, right? Rules are good. They shouldn't go anywhere, and I don't expect them to, to be just wiped off the face of the earth. But I do think in, you know, maybe next year, they can start tweaking them a little bit and allowing some more common sense judgment by the referees because at the end of the day, they're the ones who are in control, right? If, if they see an opportunity where it's like, hey, this is just something that happened, let's play on, then let's play on, right? 